Uh, here are your announcements for this week. Uh, do you know a senior or uh, somebody who you think would be a great ambassador for LCU? Uh, you can nominate a Mr. or Mrs. LCU by emailing Josh Stevens at lcu.edu. There's a dot in between Josh and Stevens. Uh, student nominations end at 5 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday, April the 8th. Uh, the qualifications for Mr. and Mrs. LCU are in the link. Uh, tomorrow is April the 7th. We will be hosting a open poetry night through Facebook. Share your favorite poems or, um, or personal writings at 5 p.m. at LCU Student Activities Facebook page. Uh, feel free to even post a video of you talking about them. Uh, this week is our golden egg hunt. Uh, we've hidden golden eggs all over LCU's campus. Uh, you can go on and make a guess uh, online on the a Facebook page. If you actually are one of the closest ones to the golden eggs, your guess, you'll get a $10 Chick-fil-A gift card. Also be on the lookout for the blue virtual eggs. If you find one of those, it's a $30 gift card to, uh, to Chick-fil-A. Just again, comment on any of the Facebook pages or the Instagram or Twitter accounts. Uh, our f group fitness classes will be online. Power Yoga with Tammy and Zumba on Tuesday Thursdays with Shannon. Uh, email Amy Shero at Amy Shero at lcu.edu uh, to be invited to one of those Facebook pages. Don't forget to check out all the social media pages at LCU Student Activities. Stay connected and engaged, and everybody stay at home and stay safe. Uh, tune in on Wednesday for the live chapel announcement with Dr. Jeff Carey. Hi, LCU. For our daily scriptures for these chapel times, we will be continuing our theme of the fruits of the Spirit that we have had during chapel this year. The fruits of the Spirit that we will focus on will be faithfulness and self-control. So our daily scripture for today will be Psalm 26, verses 2 through 3. Test me, Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. For I have always been mindful of your unfailing love and have lived in reliance on your faithfulness. When I think of God's faithfulness, I think of his steadfastness. Sometimes when we are struggling or alone, I think it's harder to feel the faithfulness of God. And that's when it's really tested or whenever we're experiencing new situations. But God doesn't change, even though our situations or our feelings may change. We have the certainty of God in the midst of an uncertain situation, and he is a constant despite the chaos that surrounds us. I'm thankful that the faithfulness of God is not dependent on our current situation, whatever it may be, and that he is gracious and ever present on both the good days and the bad days. And so in my life, when focusing on the faithfulness of God is difficult, I try and think of times when he has so clearly provided for me and those examples of his faithfulness help remind me that he is present and he is active even when I may not feel him as so as clearly as other times. And so now here is our brief devotional thought. Thank you. And you've heard it said, uh, or maybe I'm going to have said it, you can't always have the best situation, but you can always make the best of any situation. And right now we're sort of in that situation. Uh, three weeks ago, you know, our team in the middle of practice received news that the season was over. So how did we respond to that? Uh, well, there were some tears, there were some temper tantrums, maybe, but after that we ended up playing kickball. Uh, so we took the bad situation and brought some laughter and joy uh, into that moment. Uh, if you've ever wanted a chance to implement you know, LCU's QEP, our Quality Enhancement Plan, now is the time. If you want to have some academic tenacity, <clears throat> if you want to have to suffer through challenges and overcome, if you really want to have a growth mindset, well, here's your chance. In Luke chapter 9, Here's a situation about Jesus. It says, as the time approached for him to be taken up to heaven, Jesus resolutely set out for Jerusalem. Jesus set his mind. He set his face. We don't want to take scripture and how it always applies to us. We always want to make sure we know scripture is all about Jesus. And so we don't want to make every application about the Bible, how it affects me. Uh, we want to remember it's all about him. But 
in this situation, Jesus knew what he was going into. Jesus is the redeemer of all situations. We were the problem, and that's why he had to set out for Jerusalem to take what was before him. All of Scripture is a story of redemption, God's mysterious plan to redeem all things to himself. And so that's what we're a part of right now. And just as Jesus set his mind, we want to set our minds to redeem the chaos that we're in. Such an unprecedented time we're in, but we need to take this moment and redeem the time and be a redemptive force uh, you know, in this society that right now is looking for hope, looking for joy. So what's your mindset today? I would just encourage you to set your minds on good things. And if you need help doing that, turn to Colossians chapter 3 and spend some of your moments in these next days and weeks memorizing that chapter, which really talks about how we can set our minds on things above. So I encourage you in this day to make the best of this time. Redeem our time just as Jesus has redeemed us. Have a great day.